put on your suit of armor and start sharpening your blade because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected, true <gasps> facts about swords. Number five, making a sword. The first known metal swords were forged from bronze, which is made by combining copper and tin. The oldest known swords ever found were bronze and date back over 5,000 years. Around 3,000 years ago, iron replaced bronze as the preferred metal for swords. Iron is actually softer than bronze and required more heat to produce, but iron ore was much easier to find than deposits of tin. Not long after discovering iron, people realized that if iron absorbs small amounts of carbon, it becomes much harder. We call this concoction steel, and after 3,000 years, it's still the metal of choice for swords today, because you never know when you'll need a sword in 2016. Number four, the ancient art of sword swallowing. This perilous pastime started over 4,000 years ago in India, when shamans would perform the stunt as a demonstration of their invulnerability, power, and connection with the gods. Several thousand years later, in the 1800s, sword swallowing came to the US and gained popularity after swallowers performed at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Hand sword swallowing isn't just some freaky hobby, it's actually helped with real medical advancements too. During the development of endoscopy, a procedure that lets a doctor see inside your digestive tract, sword swallowers were often used for researching since their bodies were able to accommodate the rigid instruments. The Sword Swallowers Association International, yes, that's a real thing, named February 28, 2008 as the very first International Sword Swallowers Day to, quote, raise awareness of sword swallowers around the world, according to SSAI president Dan Meyer. And that's actually not a bad idea, since there are less than a few dozen professional sword swallowers performing around the world today. To put that in perspective, there's more people who have climbed Mount Everest or flown in outer space than there are professional sword swallowers. Now all you gotta do is swallow a sword at Everest Summit while wearing a spacesuit. Now that's one of a kind. Number three, the largest sword in the world. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest sword on the face of the earth stands over 48 feet tall. It was built in 2011 at a roundabout in the United Arab Emirates. Officials actually had to use laser measuring devices and a crane to determine the height and inspect the quality of the sword from top to bottom. The behemoth blade was erected in front of the Fujera Fort, home of the nation's traditional sword dancing competition. Careful guys, you might poke an eye out! Number two, one of the most popular swords ever made is the katana. Even though this samurai sword is one of the most well-known blades in history, there's still plenty for us to learn. For instance, the blade isn't always the best way to tell its value. The decorative handguard, called a tsuba, is sometimes worth just as much as the blade. Even scabbards, mounts, and decorations can be worth a ton. Because of this, having a complete katana is critical to its value. But despite all of this, the katana may not have been that important of a weapon to the samurai. Instead of a sword, early samurai charged into battle with a bow and arrow. Over time, katanas became more of a status symbol, since only samurai could have them. And with no wars to fight, they became more and more elaborate. Well, uh, careful, I think that might be one too many bedazzles. And finally, our number one fact about swords, some of the absolute weirdest swords ever made. That's right, throughout history, people have come up with some pretty, pretty strange designs. The Kopesh is an ancient Egyptian sword that may have evolved from battle axes or farm tools. Only the outer edge of the curved blade was sharp. The Framard is a wavy bladed rapier, popular during the Renaissance. People in those days believed, wrongly, that the zigzagging design would cause deadlier wounds. The Chinese hook sword was seriously intense. Not only did it have a curved tip, but sharp hand-protecting guards too. Oh, and did I mention they were traditionally dual-wielded? Yeah, it's pretty sick. And the craziest sword of them all, the Urumi. Invented in India around 200 BCE, the Urumi looks more like a whip than it does a sword. Its multiple blades are super floppy, and when swung, it acts like a metal whip. And of course, the super coolness of having a metal whip sword is only dwarfed by the constant fear of accidentally slicing up your hands. And there they are, 
five totally sharp, totally true facts about swords. If you could have any medieval hand-to-hand -hand combat weapon, what would it be? A sword? Nunchucks? Mace? Lightsaber? The Arumi? I bet it's the Arumi. Let us know by commenting below and make sure to check out five facts about real princesses if you want a little bit more sword swing in action. And remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every day and new five facts every Tuesday. I'm your host, and I'm gonna go practice my sword fighting skills right now! Whoa! Oh! 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 I just stabbed myself in the gut! Oh! Goodbye, cruel world! Thank <laughs> you.